Hello and welcome back to another video and what is this? Is this MechWarrior Online? Back on my channel? What, wait, 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 what year is it? But yeah, PGI has been doing some good changes. And I said, oh my god, I can't remember when my last actual gameplay video was. I know I made some should you buys and such in the past, but I haven't done actual like gameplay stuff for a very long time. It's been like almost two years since I've played the game, but they did good work on the agility paths just recently. They did good work with the weapon pass, and quirks are coming up soon. So I figured, I said that I'd get back when there's stuff to do. There's stuff to do in this game. Everything's being rebalanced. I gotta go through and double check all my builds and see if they still work and how they perform and probably screw around with builds and see if they, I can get them to uh, do different things. Now that some really cool weapon balance has changed. Like, for example, with the Inner Sphere. I'll just pop into my murder mats here for an example. The, uh, the Light Goss. It's a, got a pretty good buff to it. The thing's actually, like, doing enough damage. Like, I've, what was it before? Like, eight damage? Seven or eight damage? And I always, like... I always said, like, for 12 tons, like, this needs to be higher. And it it is. And now it's at 10 damage. So that's, like, nice. That's good. There's a bunch of changes like that that I really need to get in. And to dive into and really eat up. And I need to play again. So we're back. We're back in MechWarrior Online. Uh, I'm not going to do another free-to-play. I've done, like, three free-to-plays from, like, nothing to having a decent drop deck. Or, like, having a decent stable of mechs. And, like, the Steam free-to-play went for, like, fucking forever. But, from now on, it's on my main account. And this account has, like, doesn't have many, uh, <laughs> doesn't have many mechs. It doesn't have many of the standard mechs. What I do have, and what I am, is a Pokemech collector of every single special mech. So essentially, like 95% of my mech bays uh, give me 30% seatbelt bonus, because they're all heroes and such. You know, like Kit Foxes, there's Loyalty, Hero, Prime, like... There's Phoenix Hero, Hero Invasion Prime, Special Prime from like Steam Pack? I can't remember, where, I, I literally can't remember where some of these are. I have three Raven 3L specials for some reason. No, not three, Raven, uh, two Raven 3L specials, you know, the Hoogan, all that kind of stuff. Just a bunch of them, except for the most recent ones. Like what is this, the Dervish? Yeah. I have all of those bits of the dervish because I just haven't sold them yet. <laughs> but I want to go through all these heroes and such. And I want to go and rebuild my builds on them and see how my builds are doing and do some fun stuff. So I have no idea what the meta is anymore. Like, I honestly don't know. So I'm going to have to experiment. So I most likely a lot of my builds here are probably crap that's okay because i need to i need to learn i need to figure out what's crap and what's not and i think to do a nice warm-up get back into the saddle uh there is the hellbringer this is my favorite mech but then there's something like the kit fox this invasion kit fox is actually my most played mech because it was like the first clan light that came out and that was back when i was playing in a clan and i was actually doing group drops 
and instead of tonnage, it was like, um, it was all just weight class rating and the heavies and assaults and mediums would always fill up and I'd just be like, ah, fine, I can play light, I don't care. And the only good light was the Kit Fox at that point, or the clans. So I got like hundreds of matches in my Kit Fox. But I'm tempted. Oh, I'm tempted to play my powerhouse. It is a brawl tastic mech. It can put the hurt down with its triple serum six AC twenty. I mean, you can't really get this build wrong, can you? This build can't really change that much. We're still got the twenty damage from there. 12.9 from each Serm 6. Ah, sure, let's give it a try. And also, this is just for me to warm myself back up again. I've played like a half a dozen matches prior to this, just over the last few days, just to be like, okay, this is the muscle memory coming back to me again. But I, <laughs> but I still find it funny. I've been away from the game for like two years, and I still have 1,450 days of premium time cooking. Like, 1,400! How the hell did I get that much premium time is a really good question. Uh, Brawl Map, eh? Uh, Pla- no, not Plexus. Manifold, okay. I actually really like Caustic for brawling, but not a lot of people do. Manifold Skirmish. Oh my god. <sighs> Playing Mech Warrior online again. What year is it? Is a really good question. I hardly even know anymore. But you can definitely see it. Uh, let me just alt tab here real quick. Uh, if I bring up Jarl's list. Jarl's list. You can see it in the global stats. Players by season. It's been going up solidly in the last few seasons. Like, this is good. I mean, there's a bit of like, uh, when the pandemic started, there was like a, a, a bump, but it just had a bump and then plateaued again. Where since the changes that they put in from the, what do they call it now? Weapons the cauldron, I think it is. They changed from the gulag to the cauldron to make it more, um, you know, not so bad. Gulag? I can't remember. Whatever it is. The, the player recommended changes. Ever since they started putting those in, players by season had just been going up and up and up and up. And what I'm noticing on these charts, the real important part of it, is it's not the new players. I mean, there are some new players, but it's n by no way accounting for the l steepness of the graph. It's old players coming back. It's old players going, all right, some changes, and then going and playing the game again, just like me, just like right now. And I can't hear anyone. Oh, it's probably because I've done my, uh, Target acquired. I, I redid how my, uh, audio was set up for uh, recording with Splitzy and such using a uh, voice meter and uh, virtual audio cables and uh, that's probably going to the wrong audio cable the voice chat but oh well who needs voice chat oh there's like enemies up on the ridge line I can't be up here by myself I can't do this no no I'm, I'm, I'm unless these assaults come up here okay I'll go hide behind the assaults but I cannot be up there by myself, as I'm getting pounded by uh, PPCs from the other side of the map. I need to brawl. So I need somebody at 200 meters. New target. And not Arctic cheetahs on the other side of the map with an ER large laser. Ooh, I, I see a mech cat that I want to go eat in the basement. I could help with that. I think me and this panther have the same idea. I'm a brawler. I'm going to go eat the mech cat in the basement. 
Hopefully he's alone. If he's not, we'll just go and eat the timber wolf as well. New target acquired. Ooh, there's multiple in the basement. New target acquired. Target spotted. Let's uh, evacuate, how about? New target or we're probably just too deep in. So we're probably screwed anyway. New target acquired. Right arm critical damage. Left arm destroyed. Yep, we're too deep in. Right arm we're screwed. Right Didn't think there'd be this many people down in the basement. But we'll get the pillar between me and those assaults there. Allow us to take the timber with us at least. Hey, we got a solo kill. We got a kill most damage dealt out of that. We did 416 damage, which is okay. At least we took out somebody before we went down. But yeah, I was completely useless up there at the top. There's no way that I'd be able to do any really good damage. That guy's just getting pounded by missiles and uh, enemy lasers and PPCs and stuff. And uh, the rest of these guys are just uh, doing their thing. Which looks like we're going to lose, so ah, who cares? Get out of this match! <laughs> this is uh, my my first video back, so it's gonna be more casual instead of like uh, seriously comment and how we did and what the uh, like what our team is doing. Let's just like yeah, whatever. <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> Let's go play another mech. So I mean, it, it still worked. I, mean, I put out four hundred something damage in a very short amount of time. Because we've got good Alpha Strike. What is our Alpha Strike anyway? Yeah, 58 Alpha Strike in that little... Um, like, if we had a couple other people with us, we could have taken the basement. And I took out the Timberwolf right through CT, no issue. If those assaults hadn't been down there, I would have easily cleaned up the basement. Hell, if even just one of those assaults had been down there, I would have taken the Timberwolf and put some hurt on the assault before he got me. But, life isn't that fair sometimes. So, we had a nice little brawler. Why don't we do a sniper? I believe this guy has goose on him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got uh, meds and goose. Yeah, let's play that guy. Meds and goose relatively high in the mech. It's a little bit low because it's down in the chest, but it's like titty goss coming out of the Warhammer. Uh, pfft, Caustic Valley because I love it. Nobody else loves that map but me, it seems. And, I don't know, Domination Assault. They play the same. Uh, oh, but Canyon. It's the relatively new Canyon that I think I've played on this like once. And all of the new uh, angles that you can take and new paths is amazing. Oh, and fun fact, uh, didn't get to see it there. If we come up with the domination again, but I'm actually in that little domination video. That was like so many years ago when they're making domination as like a game mode and it was going to be a thing. And they're like, oh my God, we need who's online with the... Uh, squirrels or whatever <laughs> somebody jump on and fight on this point while we take videos so that we can put it onto uh the into the game as the preview for the game mode which is fun <laughs> so eternally i am in this game you can see my little griffin and uh timber i want to say my warhammer no or was it my Marauder? Ah, one of the things. I think it was either my Marauder or my Timber was uh, in the section, and then I was in a Griffin as well in one of the other maps. All right, well, we snipey, so we don't want to get up nice and close. Oh, God, our weapon groups are absolutely fucking horrible. Gotta set them all up. There we go. Now we're good. Now we're goosing. Now we're juicing and goosing. Let's get to the center. Uh, we've all spawned together, which is amazing! And I just tried to uh, 
I just tried to go into third person using uh, Space Engineer's um, third person button. Ah, third person, still shitty. Let's go back to first, where you're the only way you can play this game. Have already started to make a dent. Be sure to stop them. I will try, but it's a little far away. I'm just a slow heavy. Oh man, look at all these ramps. <gasps> look at all this access, dude. This is amazing. I'm probably like ridge, I'm on top of the ridge here, silhouetting myself. I should totally get down to cover. Target acquired. Target spotted. This is Timmy over there. Eh, mid pulse, man. It feels like you could have more weight than that. Target spotted. Uh huh, okay. Do we rotate? Do we just. <gasps> Are we potato rotating? <gasps> At least everyone's doing the same thing in the same direction. Target I'm okay spotted. with that. Affirmative. Let's uh, potato Target rotato. Spotted. Let's rotate, oh, after all, there's an enemy. I do not need to hit that with goose. We'll get it with lasers. Got that UAV kill. Now there's a rotary Corsair over there. That's the AMS one. Very fun design. And we just need to start creeping up the edge here until we get some shots. CT on chart. And we will headshot the guy. If you see that Marauder 2C, his head is very low. Just keep putting some shots in this Marauder 2C. Keep him pinned down. Assume my allies will hold the right here. Oh, mm, I would have been tasty to get that uh, that guy. I'm just trying to uh, rake his head area with my lasers and hopefully get a headshot on him. But we're at 3-0 here. We're kicking ass. But otherwise, just put DPS into this guy. Oh, no. Shouldn't have shot that. I couldn't see because of the, uh, the shells that had just exploded in front of my face. But I thought he was still uh, available to be shot. Oh, right over his head. It's okay. Arms are useless in this design. They are sacrifice willing to be made. Seriously? That guy had an XL and... Uh, Rocket launchers? Just use like a one shot duder, and that's it. Uh, Dervish with a bunch of alarm fives is gonna get absolutely dumpstered as we get up close to him. Where are you, Dervish? Oh, you're down below. Is there. Target yeah, don't even worry about the Dervish. New target There's that guy. Oh, there. Target spotted. Oh, and hello! <gasps> a light! Oh, come here, you little bastard. I love killing lights. Oh, yeah, that makes me feel good. Having lights explode in front of me. Like that. Oh, yeah. Goose the lights. Mwah. And just a moment here, we win. Oh, oh. Shooting a goss into a light makes me feel so good. Oh, I forgot how good that was. Oh. Hey, that's pretty good sea bills, man. 422,000? I mean, we got mech bonus and prem time bonus, but... I mean, this decent play. 469, how do we do for the rest of the team? Uh, 469, 502, 503, uh, you know, halfway down in the team, still in the top, sort of, third-ish. But still, that's pretty good C-bills, man. I could get used to that. That seems higher than I'm used to. But then again, for the longest time, I've just been playing 
my previous experience to this was playing a bunch of free to play and getting like 150 to like 225 per game. So then if you plus that by 80%, the 225 could easily be four ish. So that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, but we played a, a brawler, we had a good fight with a Timby, we played the a sniper and we had a good little battle there. Uh, why don't we play a little na ankle biter piece of crap and play a light? Oh, loading image still. What kind of light do we got? <gasps> do I just play a canine? No, that's silly. That's just silly. Well, I, don't I have one of the... I thought I had one of the, um... Oh, this thing's got five energy. Yeah, yeah, this can, this can uh, do um, five med pulse or whatever it is. The build that goes on lights, on the uh, the Irby. Just, you know, like an Irby pulse build. Or I could just play a Grenier. I mean, it's just a Grenier. It's just good. The Wolfhound is just a good mech. It's got a bunch of med pulse. And it's just happy to pulsate on everything. It sounds weird when you say it that way, but it works. Now let's go with the Grenier. The Grenier. Because this was my favorite mech in the free to play. Was it? No. My most played was the Huntsman. I think this was just my, my, my favorite ones for uh, playing on lights. It's just so consistent for me. We'll see if I actually have any consistency here anymore. Uh, what do we get? Termaline, skirmish. That's fine with me. Where, oh where, will we spawn? This is a very good question. And where, oh where, will we go? Are we going to hook around? Try to go flank? We're going to squeeze through the, the middle and just be a little squirter and just squirt through the enemy and pop out the other side and have them all turn around and go, it's the little light! And then our allies push in behind us as we uh, absolutely get uh, them all distracted. Resist running off. I can never resist. I will always run off. That is what the uh, lights are supposed to do, right? Run off, find the enemy team, run right into them, and die. If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> At least that's what I want all the enemy lights to do. And all of our lights are going to wolf pack and eat their uh, slow assaults. Come on, dude. Wet pot 92. We're waiting on you to connect, damn it. Otherwise, we can't start the mission. Ugh. Wow, we're light. Piranha, Osiris, Commando, Grinier, Flea. Dudes, we have like five lights. I mean, the Osiris is a light. Right? Yeah. Is it? Yes, it is. We have like five lights on our team. We will have to be a little wolf back. It's going to be great. Although we are missing a person. So it's 11 to 12 already. Sensors which is not good at all. Weapons Sadness will abound. All systems nominal. This is command. Eliminate all enemies, no matter the cost. All right, let's go. Uh, let's meet up. XL is pretty bad for most mechs. Well, except for clans, they have XLs with like almost no drawbacks. I've got my ECM, ECM. Let's go cover up this, uh, Matt Cat Mark II here. So make sure he's under ECM. 
You should meet my buddy. Hey, there you go, man. Cat. Got you under ECM. And there's our sky. Stormcrow. Okay. He's just in a champion Stormcrow, so he's probably pretty bad. That's okay. We'll get Target this guy ECM when he gets his when he does his crossing. Come on, dude. Cross, cross, cross. Target acquired. Dude, I'm covering you with ECM. Go, 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 go. Target spotted. <laughs> Is he gonna run away? Target spotted. Let's not squirrel after the Target one guy. Spotted. Let's head back over to the team. New target acquired. Oh, a Grand Dragon. Just a little tickle there. Enemy UAV at Fox 6 Echo 5 corner. Target spotted. Let's get that down. Got it. New target acquired. Ooh, Atlas. Something's countering my ECM. Somebody's close. Affirmative. Ah, these missiles flew across my deck just like that. Target acquired. I knew something was coming. Target spotted. Yeah, there's a little fucker right there. Echo 6 jumping up. Where are you, you little bastard? You tried to drone up there. You did run up New there. Little bastards right there. I'm gonna just sneak through here real quick. Target spotted. Let's go around left side. Let's go clear this out. See who's over here. We give that dervish a couple little splats there. Is your piranha is here? Oh, the heat, man, the heat. Wait, right, they're coming this way. Actually, let's get out of here. Let's go eat this Atlas. Hit your torso. I can cook him. Oh, he's dead. Nice. Grand Dragon. Eight up. He's down. Excellent. They're coming around the left flank. Delta 6. I'm shoot my ally there. Heat level is hot. Toasty here. My favorite little spot right there for peeking these little guys. Ow! It's okay. Grinner has tons of armor. Piranha. Right leg. Crit. Shoot that leg, guy's leg off. New I can't. Boom! Clean up. Target spotted. I New see you. Need Ooh, their assaults are pushing in. Fuck, it's toasty here. Wah. New target acquired. Level critical. We're experiencing some losses. Don't get sloppy out there. Yeah, he's crit back torso. Good, he's down. Here we are 6-4, even though we are massively outweighed here. Atlas missed his shot. Okay, let's dive past him. Heat level critical. New target acquired. Heat level critical. <laughs> there goes that little piranha, the bastard. New target acquired. Yeah, let's go wolf pack down here. Who cares about those assaults? Go eat these guys. Target spotted. 
Hunchback 4H? That's actually a pretty cool build on the Hunchback 4H. I like that. Wake me up inside. Hey, he's done. Oh, oh, oh my god. Got this. Okay, I'll keep the... Atlas. Back. Thank you. Okay, there's that shadow cat's close. Counter his things. Areas. At least he's not running. That's nice of him. And he's done. Good game to our opponents. That was a fun little duel. That was a fun brawl. That was awesome. Now that's the kind of fun games that I miss. And we did a nice solid 500 damage. We got 500,000 sequels for that. A nice cool half a mil. That is excellent. But yeah. I'm kind of glad to be back and making some videos in here. And I'm not sure what I want to do next. I think I want to go through and dig through all of the old heroes that I could never really get to work that well. Like, obviously, the Grinner here, I figured out. This is the build I like on it. It works well. But for something like uh, the Osiris, maybe, you know, stuff, particularly, particularly the Protector here. I've never really got a build that really works on it. But with all the weapon changes and hopefully future quirk changes, I, I kind of want to go through each and every old hero and invasion variant and all that kind of stuff that I have. I just want to go through and just renovate my mech line, which I think is going to be really fun. But that is going to be in future videos. All I can say now is I'm back. I have no idea how often I want to make Mech Warrior online videos. I'm thinking like once a week, maybe. I got to keep up my space engineers to probably two a week. And then make a mech warrior video once a week renovating a mech and doing some fun games and if that sounds good hope you guys enjoy them but that's gonna be it for this episode thanks for watching and good hunting out there fellow mech warriors oh man i haven't said that in so long and it felt good